In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the feast of Saints Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, the Archangels, who are messengers from God with a specific mission for each of them, but they remind us of God's continuing care for us and his continued involvement in our lives. In our prayer today, we're asked to pray for Raymond Creasa, who is deceased, and also to pray that we may be open to the invitations of our God in our daily living. We begin our prayer by acknowledging our failures, asking for God's forgiveness and healing. Lord Jesus, you are lifted up to draw all people to yourself. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You shouldered the cross to bear our suffering and sinfulness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You opened for your people the way from death into life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. We praise God by praying the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us now pray. O God, who disposed in marvellous order ministries, both angelic and human, graciously grant that our life on earth may be defended by those who watch over us as they minister perpetually to you in heaven. This prayer we make through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set in place, and one of great age took his seat. His robe was white as snow, the hair on his head as pure as wool. His throne was a blaze of flames, its wheels were a burning fire. A stream of fire poured out issuing from his presence. A thousand thousand waited on him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. A court was held and the books were opened. I gazed into the vision of the night and I saw, coming on the clouds of heaven, one like a son of man, he came to the one of great age and was led into his presence. On him was conferred sovereignty, glory, and kingship. And men of all peoples, nations, and languages became his servants. His sovereignty is an eternal sovereignty, which shall never pass away, nor will his empire ever be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. In the, In the sight, sight of, of the, the angels, angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. I thank you for your faithfulness and love, which excel all we ever knew of you. On the day I called, you answered. 
you increase the strength of my soul. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. All the earth's kings shall thank you when they hear the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the Lord's ways. How great is the glory of the Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. Our gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, his ministers who do his will. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming, he said of him, there is an Israelite who deserves the name incapable of deceit. How do you know me, said Nathanael. Before Philip came to call you, said Jesus, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus replied, You believe that just because I said I saw you under the fig tree. You will see greater things than that. And then he added, I tell you most solemnly, you will see heaven laid open and above the Son of Man, the angels of God, ascending and descending. The Gospel of the Lord. What is special about this feast day that we celebrate is the teaching that we are not alone. We worship God who communicates with us directly, but he also communicates through angels. We hear in the first reading images of God's power and majesty. But at the same time, we are aware of God's infinite, tender concern for us in sending angels and archangels to convey his purposes, his healing, and to give us his power. There is never any need to fear as we are held in an eternal embrace by our infinitely loving God. You know, when Paul wrote to the Thessalonians, he reminded them that they had turned from the worship of idols to serve a God who is living and active. This God is a God who communicates, accompanies, and supports them in their struggles if they are faithful. Christian tradition holds that God does this through the angels. So today we celebrate the three that are named in our scriptures. Today Jesus talks about the angels of God accompanying him in his mission. It follows the momentous acknowledgement by Nathaniel that Jesus is the Son of God. And today Jesus shares a glimpse of the heavenly world with his new disciple Nathaniel. It is a promise of the vision Daniel enjoys after his safe encounter with the lions. Angels play an important part in heaven. They are messengers of God, carrying divine decrees to earth. They are intercessors, they are protectors. And today's Mass commemorates the three great archangels. Michael, the angel of the last judgment, but also the defeater of Satan. Michael, always fighting to protect humanity from evil. Raphael, the healer, the guardian of science and knowledge. And Gabriel, the one who appears most often to persons in scripture. Gabriel announced to Zechariah the forthcoming birth of John the Baptist and to Mary the birth of Jesus. So in celebrating the archangels, we're reminded that God is far greater than our imagination could ever be able to conceive. <clears throat> One of our problems, I think, is we so often diminish God, bringing the divine majesty down to our own limitations, that to peek into the heavenly realm helps us to restore the proper sense of awe and wonder that we can so often lose in our everyday world. <clears throat> Just like Nathaniel and the angels, we too are called to minister in the name of God. And there is plenty to be getting on with. We are to be God's presence, his strength, and his healing today. No doubt the dreams we all have about the fulfillment of everything 
will be realised in the fullness of time. Meanwhile, it is comforting for us to know that we're never struggling on alone. There is a great multitude of angels to offer us support. So today in our prayer, we thank God for the gift of the archangels who reveal God's loving plans for us. We pray that they may always protect and guide us, always help us, so that like them, we will be messengers of hope, strength and comfort to every person we meet. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our prayers today are brought before the Father by the ministry of the Holy Archangels, those pure spirits of the invisible creation who constantly serve God and his people. That St. Michael may defend and sustain Christians suffering persecution, Lord hear us. That those who proclaim the truth may be encouraged by the care of St. Gabriel, Lord hear us. That St. Raphael may console our sick and suffering brothers and sisters, especially those affected by the coronavirus. Lord, hear us. That we may be humble before the mystery of creation we cannot see. Lord, hear us. We pray now for our own needs of today and those of all our brothers and sisters. We pray also for those who have died, that they may be welcomed into eternal life. Lord, hear us. God, our Father, accept our prayers and petitions as we rejoice in the help of the glorious company of heaven gathered around this altar. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness... We have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Now let us pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. To this sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O Lord, humbly entreating that as these gifts are borne by the ministry of angels into the presence of your majesty, so you may receive them favourably and make them profitable for our salvation. This prayer we make through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honour we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight rebounds to your surpassing glory, and by their great dignity and splendour you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him the multitude of angels extols your majesty, and we are united with them in exalted adoration as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Vincent our Bishop and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Andrew, St. Gabriel, St. Raphael, and St. Michael, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At our Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. With our contact, we offer each other a sign of peace. Amen. Lamb of God, take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Pray now the prayer of spiritual communion for those who can't be with us physically. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We do continue to encourage you to keep following the directives of the New South Wales Government as far as movement and the activities that they have requested we follow. Also, we continue to pray for a rapid end of this difficult situation in which we find ourselves. So let us now pray. Having been nourished with heavenly bread, we beseech you humbly, O Lord, that drawing from it new strength, under the faithful protection of your angels, we may advance boldly along the way of salvation. This prayer we make through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace and glorify God in your daily lives. Amen.